going to wager you ordered a burger of some sort. Am I yes. close? Nailed it. <laughs> Look at a that. smokehouse well, he def- burger. He definitely had a dessert, though. I actually did not. Welcome back, Junkies fans, to the WatchTheJunkies.com recap show. I'm Adam Epstein, joined by JP from the Sports Junkies. You know, a lot going on with the show today. Dan Steinberg coming on. He's at training camp, and he gave us a lot of good insight with the Redskins. He did give us some insight, although I think that he's had it with being at training camp all these days. And the story remains the same, inconsistency at the quarterback spot. So we got into that. Well, he, he's not liking it at training camp, but he did post a couple pictures on Twitter of the food. So he is liking the food in Richmond. That's good. Like Angela Hall said, uh, he said, you know, basically every coach says the same stuff. It's just how they actually deliver the message. And then he started comparing Joe Barry to Drake. And he was saying, like, you know, it's not like Drake's lyrics are that great, but his delivery makes all these platinum hits. So I think that I have my first person in world history who's compared Joe Barry to Drake. And then Paul Feinberg. Uh, Fine. <laughs> Just keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Just go. Paul Feinbaum. He's from the SEC Network, yeah. ESPN. Paul. I got him. <laughs> this is take Paul. two, by the way, because he called him John the first time. <laughs> He no, did no, get the right, last right, name. Right, so on. he came on. We talk college chips. You got to leave this in. No, leave this into the Watch and Junkies recap. So, this is too uh, goofy. It's fine. We're recapping the show. It's not about you. It's recapping the show. So check out WatchTheJunkies.com because we got into some great college football talk with Paul Feinbaum. And Jason asked him about a lot of teams have their quarterback spot up for grabs, including Ohio State. He thought uh, Ohio State's going to be fine. Didn't matter which quarterback they have. But a lot of the top teams in college football right now are searching for their number ones. And I thought it was really interesting. He told us who he thought his top four was if the playoffs started today for college football. I have no recollection, but I think Ohio State was at the top. It's obviously very early, but give me, uh, you know, where are we, on August 6th? Give me your, your four playoff teams for college football playoff. For, well, for I mean, team. Ohio State's in a, in, a, in a league of their own, and I really think TCU is, is as well. Uh, I mean, they, they play a Big 12 schedule, but, uh, but the biggest game of the year is Baylor at home. After that, I, I really think it's fairly tricky, but, but I like SC. I know uh, they have to go to Notre Dame at the end of the year, but uh, that's okay. I, I'll, I'll take my chances against uh, Brian Kelly. And after that, um, I would, uh, even though uh, my, my gut tells me I'm probably going down a familiar road here, I would probably take Alabama. All right, yeah, so this was a good show. And watch junkies.com. Check it out, 5 to 10 every morning. Well, why would That's they the sign the story him? of his career. Why did they sign him? I have no idea why they signed because him. Because he's got potential. He's always hurt. He's hurt every single year. He I plays like six, idea. seven games. Speaking of uh, being hurt, Cardinals Get ready for a lot of Joseph Randall. Lose yeah. Michael Floyd for six weeks, the wide receiver. Um, broke three fingers on his left hand. Right. That'll sting. So the timing, though, does get him back right around week one.